We consider dementia a condition of old age, but some scientists now believe technology could create comparable problems with memory and attention, a digital dementia affecting not the old, but the developing brains of the young who now live plugged in 24-7, perpetually distracted by tweets and texts, constantly multitasking in artificial worlds. The term digital dementia was coined in South Korea, where 160,000 children under nine are classed as online addicts. The effects of such excessive internet use are being investigated by Dr. Kim Dae-jin. I was some patient, uh, four years old, is to start gaming, and then now uh, 12 years old. I think he looks like a dementia, very decreased uh, some function, and they have a very low level of memory. From birth to someone's mid-twenties, the brain is constantly rewiring itself as connections grow, die off and regrow. So could interacting with and through a computer screen damage that rewiring process? Neuroscientist Susan Greenfield believes it's possible. If we're now exposing that brain to an environment that's unprecedented, it follows that the thoughts and the feelings and the way we act may well be unprecedented. The worst that could happen would be someone who had a rather dodgy sense of identity and low self-esteem, was slightly aggressive, had a short attention span, and perhaps someone who responded quickly to facts without reflecting on them and having ideas of their own. However, this view is strongly disputed. For example, although studies show we are becoming worse at recalling facts, we're becoming better at remembering where to find those facts. Memory adapting, not deteriorating, Published research is limited, but there's currently no scientific evidence showing a profound effect on brain development. There is no firm evidence of any type that would suggest that using digital technology, the internet, iPads, video games, um, in any way causes permanent mental decline. We might be worried about our kids playing too much Minecraft and think that that's bad for us, but on balance, these things are a drop in the bucket. It is also too simplistic to lump together the many different digital experiences. If you think about iPad technology, uh, you know, tablets and touch technology, that's given all sorts of access for people who have, say, motor difficulties, can't use a computer and a mouse, communication difficulties. If you think about toddlers and how they use iPads and tablet technology, um, it, it opens opportunities for people. So it's what you do with those opportunities that's important. The first generation of digital natives are already beyond childhood. Yet science is still a long way from understanding the lifetime effects on those whose developing minds have been shaped by a multimedia world. Catherine Jones, 5 News.